the last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. A lot of people felt like this was an eventuality. There were times where perhaps he and UFC President Dana White were at odds. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proving ground in the sport. You know, he is one of the biggest what-ifs of all time in regards to a UFC career. We finally get to find out. You are talking about a guy that dominated the heavyweight landscape for a really long time. Unbelievable combat sambo, great submission skills, and tremendous power in his hands. I'm so excited to see the last him. And when you talk about the Mount Rushmore of MMA, a lot of the professional fighters reserve a spot for this man, Fedor Emelianenko. We'll see how it goes for him in the Octagon team. ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proving ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves it. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> So are we for our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a busy match. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Azar! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Habib the Eagle, Nibamamada! One of the best in the business, Herb Ready. Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. See, I know you can speak to this as well as anyone. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedowns where he emphasis in camp and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Side control now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Emilianenko. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve 
it's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Khabib's going for a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to walk himself to get sucked. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. Lands a double leg kick. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Great submission defense. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Good work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Khabib's got his back again. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open him right up. Under 90 seconds to go. Mago Medov's back inside control. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to be setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, my goodness. That dark choke is very tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Unable to connect there. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he covers the Oh, how on God's green earth did he get out? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Fader. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, next. Hey, All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. Another knee there. He has executed that weapon perfectly all night. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kamora here. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Fader. All 
right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Nurmago Medov's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Nice. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Nurmago Medovs back inside control here. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes, he's on belly. He's postured up. He's landed big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. And now he's got the back. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Nermako Medov, grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Massive shot from the top. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, good defense, yes. <laughs> Nurmago Medov's in half guard. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, Jay, and they appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Nice. Nicely done. Honing in on those counters. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the world. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Oh, great block there. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it, but now he's got to settle if he wants to finish the fight. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere, and he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Emelianenko's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot 
to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline, he's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Khabib's able to transition back to side control now. In the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the men. If head movement wasn't important, oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Go on, hold you down. Keep moving. Keep moving. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Fedor's going for the sub here. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. Submission defense wins this transition. Emilian Echo's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Nermago Medoff's right back to the full mount here. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Moving his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. It helps him to evade those strikes. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of armbar. Oh, it's tight. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Nermago Medov. Getting them out here. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands the there from inside the guard. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Got to be careful here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. Nermanko Medovs right back to the full map. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Now he's going 
Full mount. Final seconds of round three. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth yeah. round now. Fight schedule for five, five minutes. Here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right, like deep, deep, lean on the heart to see who has the edge. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the up. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance. But if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land. But if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Right somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. He passed the half guard. Khabib's back in full mount. Good solid strike on the ground. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Nermago Menov's in half guard. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue. Oh. Just misses with that one. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't play. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw. Great submission defense. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. Emelianenko's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Metal. And very effective with the ground and pound. This is where he wants to be. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Two minutes now to go. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Emelianenko's got the full mount. Nice defense. Nermako Medov's in half guard now. All right, so Emelianenko's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Emelianenko is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Left, let's go. 
Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance? Oh, watch Gigi here. That guillotine is tight. He's out. What's the vicious defense on the show? Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to feel the lock so you can get to your feet. Trying to pass the ball here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, that's the end of the round. And Emelianenko's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. Ready to fight. You can't do that Ready. when you're fighting a guy like this. Good. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Look to the head there by Nalago Meta. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Yep, that gets him deep. Oh, he got up. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Nice transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Mago Medoff's back and forth. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Only somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Gotta be careful there, yep. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Emilio Echo. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Great defense by this fighter. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be fresh. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. The young belly. Marco Medovs right back to the full mount here. Oh, this could be over soon. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. But he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Lands with the ground and pound. In the half guard. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He 
passes to half guard. Great grounded pound by this man. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Big right hook there by the champ. The ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet, though. And they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grab from the And they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. If you're going to go out guard on your shield, if you're going out guard on your shield, he's going to get a team. All right, so Lillianenko is able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Good job by the front there. Starting back up. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the left punch, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. Did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Good movement on the ground here defensively I'm by Lou All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Fernando Vera. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who's going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon.